After hearing one man after another describe how horribly he was treated in divorce court, and considering that 50% of marriages end in divorce, why would any rational man want to take on that kind of risk and get married? A reason why 63% of men don't want to bother with women is because it is such a pain to try to talk to them. I was told by a girl that 80% of women expect men to entertain them. If you don't entertain them well enough or fast enough, they start chasing some other guy that will. Most women won't put any effort into making a conversation or keeping a conversation going. And that is a major thing that stumps a lot of guys. The thing is, after you've been single for a while you get used to how peaceful and stress-free your life is, and you don't want to interrupt that peace for just anyone. A lot of guys figured this out during the pandemic, including me. Your life is 100% yours. You make all the decisions, no dealing with anyone's BS, and you can save a lot of money. Plus, modern women are just horrific to deal with so a lot of men find it more rewarding to just stay single. The juice is no longer worth the squeeze. For women, life is like a soap opera where everything has to revolve around them. It's all about them. Everyone else is just a supporting cast member playing the parts they wish to play. While the woman is the star of the show, she'll try to find another actor to play the part if the person in question doesn't fit the part she has in mind for him. In other words, it doesn't matter about the guy. The script alone. Whoever can portray Ken most convincingly wins. If her life takes an unfortunate turn, she will retell the circumstances as if they were part of a screenplay she had no input into and was just following, rendering her completely innocent because the primary protagonist cannot also be the antagonist. There's no doubt that today's women are the result of a culture that gave them excessive power, encouraged their promiscuity, and indicated no reason to have compassion or accountability. To the men, I would say, stay alone, avoid dating, and simply enjoy your independence. If a woman rejects you because she believes you don't earn enough money, you can easily infer from that that once she becomes tired of you, she will want to take half of it and move on. The best way to sum up the past 16 years is with the phrase limitless entitlement. I can't tell if it has always been this way, but that is unquestionably what I have often observed. Do not let society humiliate you for speaking out against it. It is obvious that men need higher standards if being attractive and kind is the recognized norm. Morals and values, ladies and gentlemen. And when it comes to the situation with solo moms, this is so very true. Very seldom does a single woman become a solo mom because she was dating the good guys that she put in her friend zone. She becomes one because she was running around chasing Chad the bad boy. That is about as simple as it gets. American women and Western women in general are basically fatter, lazier, less feminine, and yet more entitled and selfish than women in other parts of the world. French women tend to be better than English women in terms of avoiding obesity, but they have a lot of the attitude too. At least with women from other countries, you get what you see and vice versa. You have your role and she has hers. In America, you still have to do your male role, but expecting the woman to do anything or contribute or support you in any way is somehow toxic. No thanks. I think this applies not only to American women, but to modern women in general. Basically, after hundreds of years of womanism, what women want now is all the benefits of having a daddy without putting out anything. I literally heard an early 20s woman saying she doesn't want a sugar daddy. She wants a daddy that would pay her everything having her hair done, eyebrows done, nails done, plastic surgery, so that she can be a bad bish without her giving out the sugar. All these years of women's empowerment, and this is what they have come to, no one is forcing them. For them, the most empowering for them is to get everything without work at all. This is the problem with women. Another problem with modern women is that they claim they can cook, they can clean, they are funny, they are intelligent, and yet they don't understand why they are single. But in the end, it's their attitude and narcissism that are the big red flags. Like if you can't take criticism, if you can't self-reflect, if you think you are always right, then no I am not going to deal with you. 
I already have to deal with a lot of problems every day. I don't want another problem creator at home. The truth is that if you're a man and your ex broke up with you a few years ago, and she is now single at 35 plus, you win. As a man, you can carry on after 35 and grow your potential. She is just growing crow's feet and all her drinking, smoking, and body count is just catching up with her physically and mentally, making her lonelier and more miserable with every passing year. Today's American women, specifically in the major metropolitan areas, don't care about men. They're out for themselves. In today's society, men are better off remaining single. You have more money. You have more time. You can do what you want, how, and when you want. And keep in mind that when you sign that marriage license, she now has a legal document to take to the courts. Another fact is this. Too many women lack a clear understanding of their intended position. They are aware that they are the prize, and they want to see men apply by winning them over. They envision an animal kingdom where a lovely female bird ultimately consents to the dancing male bird doing his act. He will adore her if he dances enough, and she could agree. I have overheard ladies who are single talking incomprehensibly about their dates with fresh males. The others start advising her right away on what he needs to bring her and what she should anticipate. They list what minimum demands she needs to hold out for. That is a problem. They are not understanding this cannot be the way the world works in this century. I heard a story of an older divorcee who was completely rejected by someone who brought one red rose to their first in-person meeting. She was furious for days after. They had reportedly been talking about potential matches online for months. He was an older divorced man, so they may make a compatible couple. I was astonished that anyone would offer flowers, but perhaps it was customary for people in their age bracket. Regarding it, she was absolutely sneering at the younger women. As a bouquet of roses is the apparent present he should have given. He was essentially telling her that she was only worth one-twelfth of what he thought she was worth. That was, in my opinion, simply contaminating the brains of the younger, single girls who were listening. Far too many women are still utterly stuck on the idea, the false premise, the persistent belief that they are the object of desire, and that the guy should dance and sing to win her favor is still a mentality that far too many women are completely locked on. In our century, this is impossible. Not at all. Women aren't making the effort and have become quite entitled to having the best man possible, all while having so much emotional baggage. Trashy tattoos that supposedly have meaning, wanting to have a nice house and performance car, and traveling several times a year. It's even worse when these women are making more than most men in the same age range due to affirmative action and preferential treatment in both the hiring process and higher education. Men are just doing the bare minimum and using their time to pursue actual happiness without a nagging person by their side. Men not approaching women anymore, not even trying, and not indulging in dating, is like a salesperson that has become disillusioned or unmotivated. You could generate a lot more sales if you wanted to. However, the corporation has set the bar so high that you are aware that neither you nor the majority of your co-workers will be able to meet it. You know how good you are and what you can accomplish if you really push yourself, but when you look at the bonus and how much work it will require, you just know that there is no way you are going to meet that goal. Many companies do this, and I believe it is detrimental, but that is a different conversation. Why then even try? As I said before, your life is 100% yours. You make all the decisions, no dealing with anyone's BS, and you can save a lot of money. Plus, modern women are just terrible to deal with so a lot of men find it more rewarding to just stay single. The juice is no longer worth the squeeze. Thanks for watching The Circle of Kings. As always, we're looking forward to your support. So please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with everything all kings like yourself need to know.